Well, this is May 23rd. Nice, crisp, 25 degree morning. It's supposed to get up, uh, it's supposed to get up about 50 today. But we had some heavy rain a few days ago. The water's up a little high. Of course, I'm going to hit, hit my hole over there, but, uh, uh, Bill wanted me to do a couple, uh, or do some testing in a couple spots. Uh, one of them, not for sure if I'll be able to get to with the water being up. But I'll give it a whirl. But, uh, yeah, water's definitely moving pretty fast. But, we'll see how the day goes. I did uh, put the old high banker back together. So see if we can't run a little bit more material today. I might do a little shoveling. I did bring the little dredge nozzle with me. But with water being up, that might be almost impossible. <laughs> but get back to you soon. I'm working on the first test the hole for Bill. I wasn't real impressed with the area. Wasn't no hard pack. Everything was kind of loose. But I told him I'd test it. Uh, I'm testing it. Water's up, it's kind of sketchy getting to it. Once I got off the bedrock, because it was upstream, once I got off the bedrock, I hit a lot of loose sand and the water was up to my crotch and I can't see the bottom. So I was trying to fill my way with the shovel. But it's looking like there might be quite a bit of black sand in it. I was pulling up some decent cobble, but most of it was just real fine stuff. So, a quarter inch classified, half a bucket. I finished running this through. I got one more test hole. And I'm going to get back to digging in mine. The only downfall is, mine's right there. The last ring completely filled it back in. So I'm going to start taking it inward and uh, see how we do. With the water being up, I don't feel like reaching down in there trying to pull all that big rock out of the hole. It looks like that's all that pushed in. Which just must have been uh, rock from upstream because all my tailing spells were all downstream. Well, if I find anything in this clean out, because I told him I'd do each individual clean out on the test runs, I'll get back on here and uh, show you what we found in it. I'm not going to show where I was testing at, but I will show you what I found, though, if anything. Well, the first test hole only had two itty bitty specks out of two and a half gallon classified. Now I've already run my second test hole in another location and uh, I just quick shoveled three fourths of five gallon bucket, didn't classify it, just brought it down, run it through. And got two little specks one decent pepper piece 
I'm going to say is uh, that just happened to come out of a spot that wasn't even in the creek. But, all right, I'm ready to get that sucked up and start running material out of my spot. Yeah, with the water being a little high, my hole had already filled in. I haven't really got a lot of footage. Because I'm clear up to here, down on my knees in there. I'm afraid I won't get my phone wet. But so far, I've dredged all this back out, which I'd worked this area right here. I'm coming in on this uh, bedrock ledge, getting a lot of decent material over here. I've, I've never really uh, dug any of this out yet, but eventually, hopefully I can get some decent footage maybe the next time I'm down if this water level drops, but I'm going to end up taking this bedrock as far as I can this way. I'll end up taking all this out. And then I'm going to take it around this way on up to where that bedrock's exposed. I'm going to work that pocket up there. Still early in the year. Got all summer. Box isn't looking too bad. I'm letting it clean out a little bit. I've been in that hole about an hour now. I'm going to do a clean up. I had a little bit of pump issue earlier. It wanted to shut off on me. And I'm afraid that every time I, it would stop and I'd start it, I might have washed a lot of my gold out. But I've got about an hour continuous running in it. Yeah, I did find a pretty nice piece of quartz earlier. <laughs> Get it wet. Big bunch of pyrite. But hopefully we got some gold in the box. I've done my first clean out. Yeah, it wasn't looking too promising. But mainly all I've taken off of that was what little bit of overburden that was in the in the hole on that side. Got one nice flake and a few smaller ones, a couple little micros. off over there eh. when I was shoveled I was I was clear down to my crotch down in the hole so maybe the deeper the better but, all right we'll give it a whirl again start this thing up and uh, probably run until I'm out of gas and then I might call it a day. Depends on how that cleanup looks. My toes and my fingers got a little cold. I figured I'd get out. Went ahead and done another little cleanup. I ran about another 30 minutes. Finally starting to hog a little bit of a hole. A few little chunky pieces in there. Yeah, I've got about a half a tank of gas left, so 
I'll go ahead and start it up until my pump runs out and then uh, I'll probably be done for the day. And here's my final cleanup. Zoom. Actually, I found a little piece of wire gold. Now, this is my final take for the day. Definitely not my biggest. Yeah, sorry I didn't get any uh, footage of me actually dredging. Water was up. I just didn't want to ruin my phone. Next time I go down, I'll just take the spray bar and do some shoveling so I can get some video. Until next time, please hit like, subscribe. Until next time, thanks.